what's up my candles welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title what this video is going to be about so before we get into this video don't forget to like comment subscribe click that bell button so you can be notified when i post now um i pretty much wanted to go into details because in the last video i felt like that video was kind of rushed because i was in a rush throughout the whole video each day i was rushing to do something but I just really wanted to go into depth, being that I'm not in a rush. I'm off today. I have nothing to do. Um, first and foremost, my actual plastic surgeon name is Diana, not Lisa. Um, the second error was that I said my surgery date was actually July 9th, and it's really July 8th. Um, I was a little bit overwhelmed, y'all. Still in shock. For those of you who know me, I, I wanted this for years. And this was nothing new. Me actually um, recording and talking about it was new for the past two years. But for those of you who knew me and know me, actually know. Since I was a teenager, that was the first thing I said I was going to do was get a breast reduction. Like as soon as I could get a breast reduction, always wanted a breast reduction. But now that it's finally here and I got approved, I just wanted to come up here and show you guys the products that I would um, need for my recovery process. Also, for those who don't know what to do when they get a breast reduction, what will they need for their um, recovery process, this video is for you, okay? So if you interested in that, keep watching this video. Um. Also, I wanted to talk about my doctor a little bit because I know some people on Instagram DM me and ask me about my doctor. Let me tell y'all, I am not one of them girls who keep shit to themselves. I will give y'all my doctor name. I will even give y'all the assistant number. Um, y'all just have to let them know that I referred y'all by my first name. Um, so as far as people that know me even if you don't know me you could dm me on instagram you can even write it down in the comment i will give y'all my first name and how to spell it y'all could say i referred y'all so the process could go through a little faster and um we just gonna get it done like that but before i actually give the information you guys i want to go through the surgery process because what if god forbid i come out botch you know what i'm saying and y'all already in the works we're working with this doctor i don't like to waste people's time because i don't like my time to be wasted so that's why as of right now i'm not going to give her actual information now when i go through my process and i'm recovering if i like how i look if i like the rest of the service that's been um given i will let you guys know um i'm not a person that's gonna sugarcoat anything um as of right now you know their actual receptionist was amazing but as of right now you know i just feel like i don't know if it's because she is a busy doctor and she's a very good doctor she might be her schedule might be all over the place but as far as my job, they've been faxing her to sign a paper for my medical leave, which has not been done yet. Keep in mind, y'all, today is Wednesday. They faxed her June 18th and still nothing. So the fact that today is Wednesday, July 3rd, my surgery is July 8th. Now I have to call out on Monday. Even though everybody at that job been new, they knew I was in therapy for my breast reduction. Everybody been new that the surgery was coming. So as far as my work um, situation, I'm not worried at all, okay? I'm gonna keep it a buck. Thankful for that job, for the extra money, but I'm not worried at all, okay? Cause I'm pretty much over the job anyways. But the good thing about being a great employee, never called out, never been late. Um, and I show up as needed and if needed. That's the best thing because I already know my supervisor is gonna make something work for me. But the thing is, my one of my supervisors tried to make me take a vacation. Why would I take my vacation, one of my vacations for a medical leave? We're not about to do that. Cause what y'all don't know is when I come back from that medical leave, that's when I'm gonna take that motherfucking vacation. So we ain't finna do that. But I already text my supervisor in advance. And also it was my supervisor, my supervisor fault as well because I have been harassing her for this number and she gave it to me kind of late, which was in the beginning of June. So, 
you know and the good thing is thank god i called today because when i called to check and see if the loa went through they was like we waiting on a doctor we've been put the paper in we've been faxing her she hasn't um responded to the fax so i wrote her assistant leslie who is a brilliant assistant if you ask me because i didn't even know that the office was closed so she's even working on her day off and she told me like you know the office is closed so she's not going to be able to answer the facts right now but you know i was like you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna come in because monday my appointment is at 10 in the morning so i'm gonna come in an hour extra early so that way when i get there i can let her know like hey listen um i need you to fax that like right now I need you I need you to do that right now so we ain't got no worries so before I even go into surgery boom medical leave is already approved um also what, what did I want to talk about oh yeah so I did buy a few products for my breast reduction recovery so i'm going to be showing you guys the products that i bought off of amazon all of these things are affordable and they're on amazon if you need help so if you also a girl that's about to get your breast reduction this video is for you um you can watch through the video i will be showing you guys um the products that i ordered also um what else i didn't i don't know if i want to finish the video though because like everything that i ordered did not come today so it's like like what's the point but i think what i'm going to do is i'm going to insert pictures of what i actually ordered for the products that didn't come but as i watched other people's videos they did like some people i just felt like had three to four pillows which is really not necessary pillows for the side pillows to keep them up i do feel like i'm going to order one more pillow think about ordering it right now which is the maternity um pillow I, it's like a pillow that helps you sit up for your back but other than that excuse me you guys i'm so tired like i'm going through a lot of emotions and pain right now because i'm on my menstrual my menstrual came down yesterday i can't take no medication so it's like i'm literally going through this period like head on okay literally and for the ones that know me know my menstrual is the worst like i get the worst cramps i have to lay on the cold floor i need heating pads icy hot like everything is just killing me all at once and for some reason this menstrual i am extremely bleeding like very hairy i know that's kind of like graphic but it's like it's heavy i don't know why but it's heavy um but as far as how i feel no i'm not scared i'm anxious i'm nervous and i'm excited at the same time a little bit overwhelmed because it's like fine or fucking lee i'll be able to wear the shirts that i want to wear the bras that i want to wear the dresses that i want to wear i'll be able to wear all the things i always dreamed of wearing because that time has come um also um what else before we get into the revealing the products and i will be linking the products down below in the description box for the ones that might want the specific link instead of having to go through amazon typing it in because i hate people like that like let's get straight to the point so i'm going to do that favor for y'all um yeah you guys and that's just pretty much it um life's been great i'm just preparing for surgery now um most likely i don't know i think i might because my boyfriend he does have i think he he said he don't have work that day but he might go in something like that but either way if he don't he'll be taking me there but if he do excuse me i'll take it over there and he's gonna pick me up from surgery but most likely he's gonna take uh take me there and stay there because he's so paranoid and the only reason why he's paranoid is because not to put his business out there but you know his son and mom passed away from breast cancer so he's just kind of scary and he just thinks something had um is gonna happen to me but i just wanted to show you guys like how big i am this is how big i am i am a 36 double h 
keep in mind i have on like a compression bra so it's kind of like sucking everything in and it makes me appear to be small a little smaller than what i am but i'm actually i'm very big especially for my size um but let's get into these products hey guys we back so finally the packages did come i did have to leave my window wide open and stalk this amazon prime driver like it was a motherfucking doordash order because for those of you who don't know matter of fact everybody experienced this with fucking amazon prime i know everybody experienced this with amazon prime where they say they delivered your package and you live in like a 14 story building and they leave it in the lobby and you never get your package if you don't live in new york city and in the projects you won't know what i'm talking about but that's pretty much why i had to stalk this motherfucker but thank god he wasn't lazy so kudos to him i'm, I'm gonna go up there and i forgot his name but yeah thank you um so one of the packages was actually a new ring light which is a desk ring light i do have my actual tall big ring light but like i said you guys being that my eyes are now sensitive to light i do have this on a low setting um prior to that i was using this but i did have one of these desk ring lights that i broke due to an anger issue um i threw it by accident though actually that i was not supposed to throw it was just in front of me but that broke but i'm kind of glad i did that because i like this ring light that i have it's actually more better it's more of a great quality and um i like how it looks it's sleek it's very nice um i will be showing you guys how it actually look off this shit but anyways so let's get into the um actually oh yeah and then what else did i order so this is just pretty much an unboxing this really has nothing to do with the breast reduction but i did order certain things that i did need i had to order some more glass screen protectors for my actual phone because i do have the 15 pro max and for those of you who don't know um i could just go in my drawer and show you all the phones that i broke um so yeah before i break this one I do have to put my lens protector on this the case does not come until Saturday right along with the other products so I'm kind of mad but let's get into the actual products for the breast reduction so this is the first thing um which is silicone circles metal cool gray silicone so this is actually um gauze for your actual areola and it it's smooth, soft, safe, flexible, and gentle. This is what you would want to use um, um, for your actual scars. So before you use this, what you want to do is you have to make sure you wash and dry your scar area and your hands. Make sure your hands is actually clean before you put this on. Then it, it tells you all the directions in the back, which I love because not all... Um, you know not all of them that i looked at had actual you know directions because i guess you know in their mind it's like everything is self-explanatory but this one actually has the directions so after you know you wash your hands and clean everything um open a pouch um containing silicone gel circles you gotta cut or trim to um the actual desired size remove backing plastic apply sticky sides to the scar so this is pretty much for the actual areola because keep in mind you guys if you do not know how a breast reduction is done they cut you like a handkerchief this way and then down then they cut this off they pull this down cut your um your nipple off move it up and then boom so this is pretty much for the actual areola um i'm gonna go in and show you guys i am mad though because you know y'all do know i can't see and i'm just now realizing that this is a box of only four keep in mind i'm recovering for three weeks and what pisses me off is that for it to be 28 dollars that's a lot just for four that's a whole lot so now i have to go back and order more which pisses me off um this is actually how it looks outside the package um it looks like it's really you know does the job 
I did read the reviews and one thing about me I'm not gonna purchase anything if it does not have a lot of reviews this had over 18,000 reviews and purchases so I did go ahead and buy it but if I see something with no reviews I'm gonna let you waste your money before I waste my money I will not get it I just won't get it second item is my Moderma PM so this is intensive overnight scar cream so this is gonna be for your actual scarring so where I will be cut like this in a handkerchief this is what you will use so pretty much this is what you will use before you actually put on the silicone so you will want to make sure your hands is clean wash this and actually put this on before you put on any type of gauze or anything um this is specifically formulated to work with your skin nighttime generative activity to visibly reduce appearance of scars while you sleep um and it actually has the ingredients um and i did read the reviews on this and you guys they did they had like a lot of great reviews on this but i think i'm going to have to go and order another one only because of the fact that it says overnight you know i might have to look for one that says day as well but um for those of you who did have a breast reduction or um let me know what else i might need just in case i don't have all the products let me know um ahead of time because my surgery is monday so it's technically it's crunch time but so far i did order the things that is most importantly needed i did order pajamas so i had to have on slip on pajamas slip on shoes um when i go into surgery i cannot wear no jewelry no makeup no lashes no nothing i have to go bare literally bare um i can't have on jeans no leggings everything has to be slip on like literally because i won't be able to move my arms so then we're gonna get into this this is the breast reduction pillow um this is the pillow that you will want to use for comfortability um also to keep everything in place overnight um i know i don't really want to take it out yet but this is like a what is it called a mastectomy pillow your breast friend with compatible support so this is like so supportive it has like um i don't know if you can see it but you can see how the arms come over these two flaps right here it's specifically for your actual breast um it says it's soft cotton um if you want to wash it it says machine washable so that means that you can put it in a wash machine if you would like to wash it and also it says chest protective and pressure preventer so this is good for you know just in case at night you know you might you might shift off or something like that you won't have no uncommon pressure thank god i'm not a wild sleeper also this is good for like you know just in case you just you you may never know like my dog likes to try to jump on the bed so you know at some point in time if he try to if he jumps on the bed i don't want him to jump on my chest i have my pillow um so that's another one the second item that i did or i mean what the fourth item that i did order was a gown top the gown top is actually a built it has built-in pockets for the actual drainage so i will have two drains coming out from the side of my my chest um from the side of my breast and the drainage can sit actually in the pockets so that i feel like is very um very 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 um important and it's also affordable it was like 19.99 and it's a button up so you can button everything up you don't have to you know throw anything on and put it over that's actually good and then what else did i order my actual bras my um post-op bras so they are bras i'm gonna insert a picture here that you zip up okay you're gonna zip the bra up or some of them you know you you snap it up like the back of a bra some of them you could just snap it up in the front 
and it's very supportive it keeps your breast in place um you know it's like a compression bra but it's not too tight it's comfortable specifically made for breast reduction post-op surgery and also i did get um not these but the silicones i did get the ones that's like the circle with the line down for the scar to go down so that's pretty much it i just wanted to come up here and show you guys some of the products like i said i'm gonna list everything below down in the description box so for the ones that do want to get a brush reduction like i said this video is for you and if you do have any other questions or if anybody have any other suggestions or any other products that y'all think i might need please let me know down below in the comments because your girl is new to this never went through surgery before okay so um thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next video most likely i might continue this whole video into my surgery but then again i don't want that video too long the longest i'm trying to have that post op i mean that that surgery video is at least for about like one hour so this with the other half of the video is already about 20 minutes and i just feel like I should just keep this as a separate video but we might never know welcome back to my channel so as you can tell the video after this is a pre-recorded video but um currently i'm getting dressed because i'm about to go out to the movies but i just wanted to come up here and show you guys because i did order more stuff so i just wanted to show you guys the extra stuff that i did order i can't remember if i inserted the pictures or not but um first and foremost my surgical bra is here so i have um a tan one and then i have a black one um so they're here i'm gonna actually put that back in there because that has to be um bacteria free also i did get surgical sponges this holds 200 um sponges and then i got the actual um next care surgery tape so this is what i will use to hold these down and tape it down where my incisions is at um also what else did i order this right here is the surgical socks um that i ordered which is basically the compression socks so i won't get any blood clots or anything like that and today is july 7th i get my surgery tomorrow which is monday today is sunday um i get it july 8th my surgery is 10 a.m i have to be there two hours prior to my surgery so technically i have to be there at eight in the morning um <clears throat> this right here which i felt like was so freaking affordable that i found um this is actually a drain pouch so this is where it's like a crossbody I could put over me and the drain pouch, the drains go in this actual surgical pouch right here. So hold on, I'm gonna show you guys. So it carries like this and then you put it over like this. So the drains can sit in here so i felt like this was very affordable and actually necessary instead of just having that shirt that holds the drains in it um this really came in handy when i found this i was like you know what i'm just i'm gonna get this too because i feel like this is very handy to have also um because i did go back on youtube and like see what the girls was buying because i felt like i needed more stuff um this is my neck pillow so this is actually, I didn't open this yet, but I'm trying to get it open. Okay, so this is a neck pillow and it come with the sleeping, Um, what is this? What is this called? The mask, the sleep mask? Y'all, which I love because the way i sleep i lay on my back and i like to put the pillow over my eyes so the fact that i'm not going to be able to do that i have this mask and it's going to cover my eyes also you guys i did the other thing that i got which is a body brush for when i shower 
I've seen a lot of people that got brush reductions use this and said this was really helpful because I'm not going to really be able to wash. So I just use this and just get in there. So this is a um, boost circulation and distribute fat de um, deposit. So use the body brush in the shower. This is a one pack and it says it's an um, ultra modern design of the traditional back scrubber, 100% silicone construction, long lasting hygienic with an extra long handle so this is actually what it looks like and it has two sides so it has like a side that looks like that and then it has a side that looks like that um i was gonna get like the one with like the synthetic like actual brushes but then i seen this and i'm like silicone i feel like this one is more better because um it's silicone and it won't hold bacteria and I know I'm going to have like a lot of blood on my body. I'm not going to be able to shower for a few days. And the good thing is my menstrual is over. So I won't be cranky or anything like that. I won't be extra bloody. That sounds a little graphic. But I'm just glad that the process is over with. So you guys.